Hey everyone. So today, Tuesday, 21st of June, we're essentially two thirds of the way through, uh, through the month of June from a trading perspective. I've got um, seven more trading days and I believe I've got six more trading days, but there are seven more trading days because I won't be trading on Friday. So we're two thirds of the way through the month and we've had a kind of a green day. It's very much a, a red to green day. So from a trade profit point of view, we are $570 in, in it's a small green day, $570 green. However, we did go over $10,000 red to start the day. Uh, well, I say start the day, we actually went up, um, you know, a little over $1,000 uh, to, to, to start the day green. And then we went red uh, and we ended up $10,000 red. Uh, and we had to trade our way out of that hole. So it, I was going to stop at $10,000. And then there's a couple of other things that uh, uh, just made me look back into the markets. And uh, Revlon today um, was the, the, the big mover. Um, we were $5,000 down on Revlon. Just, just poor trading to start off with. Uh, and I'll go into the, the actual details. Uh, and then after coming back, after my break, uh, trading it again, Revlon made some big moves. It, it actually moved up 86% on the day today, 86% from Friday's closing price. So big mover, filed for bankruptcy. They just, let's put this into perspective. Revlon filed for bankruptcy a couple of weeks ago. And as a result of that last week, there was talks of an acquisition, so they wouldn't have to go through this whole bankruptcy thing. And now the, the, the price has absolutely skyrocketed. Uh, so it was a, a little over a dollar a share, uh, just uh, well, less than a week ago. And now I'm, I'm, talking to, uh, I'm talking to you and Revlon is over $6 a share. So it's, um, you know, four or five times, four or five hundred uh, percent gain over the course of a week. So phenomenal moves. And uh, I'm, I will be very surprised if Revlon don't come out with a share offering to the market very shortly uh, with a view to actually making some money so that they can actually stay off bankruptcy or, or maybe even uh, just uh, just paying off some debts before they uh, before they do go through the bankruptcy or maybe they will get acquired. I, who knows? Who knows? But today was, was very much a... Um, Tale of two halves, the first half of the, uh, you know, we made some good trades, uh, but we made some bad ones as well. And, and, and the bad ones were doozies. Uh, so we, we were $10,000 down at the break, and then we came back. We, we lost a little bit more on uh, ADN. We were $700 up on, on ADN to start off with. Then we, uh, we lost um, that flip round, and we tried to trade that again. We, we lost... Uh, Ended up losing um, over two thousand dollars on ADN, uh, but we totally made that back and then some on on uh, Revlon. I'm going to go through the trades. Uh, I'm going to go talk through the Revlon one. We we actually traded seven tickers today, so it's a lot to go through. I'll, I'll cover some of the the, the main points, uh, but uh, I'm going to go through the main areas on Revlon and, and where we actually gained, where we lost, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, uh, enjoy the trade recap before I actually do that hit that thumbs up button smash that thumbs up button uh, it's just wonders for the YouTube algorithm and uh, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel I really would appreciate that but also you get notified when I'm going live you'll get notified when I drop a new video uh, I dropped a, a new video over the weekend uh, a, a, a tutorial video over the weekend so be sure to uh, to check that out as well and uh, enjoy the trade recap so the first trade we took today was with ADN and ADN had a good day today actually so I'll just zoom in and show you the uh, the, the summary of uh, of of the, the performance of, uh, of of ADN it had a good uh, good pre-market session and we got in there we, we made uh, started off we made um uh, 700 with uh, with ADN to start off with uh, and then we lost it a little bit later. Uh, so unfortunately, 
as this started to move up, we got faked out here and we lost it. And uh, we tried to get in again for the move up and lost it again. So ADN wasn't good to us. Uh, it, it gave and, and it took away. So we started off, we were $700 up. And as I say, we gave that back a, a, a little bit later. Uh, Black Sky. Uh, so Black Sky Technology. Uh, Pre-market. Again, this is another one that we were trading pre-market. And we, we managed to take. Uh, $400 out of Black Sky Technology this morning, pre-market. And uh, that was just at the top of the hour, 8, 8 a.m.-ish that, that we traded that. So we traded uh, we traded CDU um, at, at the bell. Uh, we got the move up and we took some profits on that. Then when that uh, 7 or 6 up at the top end, it sold off for the rest of the day. We didn't take any more with that. Uh, then we went back to one of my favorite stocks over the last month, Aeroclean. Now I keep saying don't get married to a stock because what it did for you yesterday is no guarantee of what it was going to do for you today or tomorrow. And this was the case. So it wasn't trading on great volume. Uh, even as I speak in after I was right now, there's only seven, 7 million shares being traded of, of Aeroclean and uh, it, it normally trades, you know, close to 20, 20 million shares. So 7 million versus 20 million, not really. So AeroClean wasn't, uh, wasn't great for us today, very choppy to start off with. And uh, we lost money on the way up, we lost money on the way down. We tried to get in uh, up here at these highs and uh, we, we entered a position just over $20 uh, for the move up. And it went completely against us. And we lost almost a full dollar on the move. We're in for 5,000 uh, 5, shares. So it's almost $5,000, $4,500 we lost on the move. And my own fault, didn't manage my risk effectively, didn't cut, uh, didn't cut my, uh, my loss when it started to break lows. I was still looking for it to move up. The range was was very rangy. We were fit between 15, 20, 25 cents at any one given time. The volume just wasn't there for the follow throughs. When we had these breakouts upwards, we didn't get the follow throughs. So Aeroclean probably done what it's going to do for me this this month. And I, and I should be happy with that. Uh, the last couple of days, it's um, it's had lower highs on the daily. So Maybe I should uh, move on from Aeroclean, although it's just been such a good trader for me and so profitable over the last two weeks. Uh, it's, it's difficult to actually do that. We'll, we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. And if we get any further continuations, we'll, we'll look to ride them up. But the way that it, um, the price action moved today, probably not, um, probably not going to trade that much more unless, uh, unless we get more volume and, and, and better action on, on that. But that's put us... Four and a half thousand in in the hole. So then we went to Redbox, and, and this is another one that we've been trading. We managed to make seven hundred dollars on on Redbox. Um, so again, Redbox uh, we had this first move up. It went green, and then we got some profits on the way up. And uh, you know, not not such a bad trade. Uh, we we entered at uh, twelve twenty, and uh, we took. Uh, Half the position off uh, at, at 10, cent, ten cents later, and uh, we exited at, at twelve twenty three. So we could have had more if we'd just scalped it. But look, seven hundred dollars is seven hundred dollars. Then we traded seed. So this we're looking at the scanners, the, the scanners, the the traditional scanners, the momentum scanner and uh, the gap scanner, etc. That there was a technical glitch today, so we, we didn't have those. So I was trying out a new beta scanner from from Benzinga, and uh, looking at the, uh, the 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 momentum through the new beta, beta, still need to find out how to read this uh, this scanner. This new beta scanner showed up that that Seed, um, so C E A Industries, so Seed uh, was was moving up, and this is what we saw and i got in way too late unfortunately so I, my first entry was up at 241 here and we got crushed because it went against us and we got out at 214. 
I took 10,000 shares. It was moving up on great volume as well. And I took 10,000 shares and we lost almost 30 cents on that. That was not a great start. We did make a little bit back. We got back in um, on the, the back for a bounce on the, uh, on the VWAP. We got in at uh, 227 and we got out for 10 cents later. Uh, so we made a little bit back. We finished down on seed. We were only 2,300 down. So a mixed bag at this stage. So Aeroclean was, was down kind of almost, uh, almost 5,000. We're down on seed to the tune of uh, almost 2,500. And then Revlon started to move. Now Revlon was the big mover today. Revlon, as I was saying, uh, across the course of the day, it moved 86%. However, that being said, and I'll zoom in for this, uh, that being said, Revlon wasn't good to us from the start. Uh, we lost two, two, just over $2,000 in our first move. And I'll show you that. And then we lost another $2,500. So we're over $5,000 down. So this is how that transpired. So our first entry on, on Revlon was we actually timed it perfectly. If you want to lose money, oh, we were looking for uh, the the continuation and the move up. We had this spike up here towards four um, uh, four eighty four seventy eight was that was the high. Then we started consolidating under this this level here four sixty five. So as it broke four sixty five here, because that's what I was looking for, the break of four sixty five with the move up test highs. Uh, we got filled at 469, which funnily enough is the exact top of this candle. <laughs> That's when we got filled and it, it moved down and flushed down. So I thought, okay, That's okay. I didn't put my loss, bad risk management. It was a poor choice of entry anyway, but bad risk management. And uh, as it started to move up, I added to the position. I kind of doubled down, if you will. Uh, with uh, with Revlon, I started with five thousand. I added another five thousand down here, and as as we moved up, and as we kind of looked to 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 move up and uh, break again, I added another five thousand, and then it went against us. So we fit fifteen thousand shares here, and it flushed all the way down to four thirty eight. So I exited the position there. But that was just a terrible trade. I completely misread it. And the indicators are all there as well. So just just poor trading from my point of view with uh, with Revlon. We're two thousand down at this stage. We're two thousand uh, dollars uh, down on Revlon at this stage. But then we get this lovely bounce on the VWAP. So this is where I'm looking for this pullback bounce on the VWAP support at the VWAP. I enter this candle here. Lovely entry, really good uh, uh, entry there. I'm happy with the entry position there. And as we move up, I'm thinking, okay, the back of my mind is I want to make back that $2,000 I've just lost. Revenge trading. That's the mistake I made there. So don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. But it moved up and, and then it, it didn't quite get to, I was looking for 450. Uh, the break of 445, 450. What we found is we're getting resistance at 445, a bit of a seller wall taking, uh, taking up between 445 and 450. And um, so as it started to consolidate, I'm kind of thinking, okay, I'll, I'll hold this for the move up. And we're touching that 440, 443, 44. So I'm waiting for this almost a flat top, if you will, to kind of the, 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 what I'm thinking of. And I'm looking for patterns that aren't there to justify holding on through this consolidation and the longer you hold on the, the the higher likelihood that is that you're getting more exposed it's going to go against you uh so we're in for at, at this stage we're we're in for about fifteen thousand um fifteen thousand shares and then as it moves up we add for the break uh of uh, 445 it doesn't go our way so we're, we're 20,000 shares in, at, at this stage. So that, that we added at 430, 438. So as it then moves up again. 
and we decide, okay, we add again, 25,000 shares. And it moves against us. And it comes all the way down. I've them to kind of 435, 433, consolidating again. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna put, I'm, I'm gonna take the dog for a walk. I'm gonna put a range stock in, in, in place. I'm gonna put uh, the, the, the low at 430, the high at 450, which was what we we're looking for. And if I get stopped out, I get stopped out. If I take profit, I'll take profit. And I got stopped out. So unfortunately that left us $5,000 down on Revlon. Not great. I went away, did my re re recap of the, of the first session. Um, we're $10,000 in the hole at this stage. So $10,000 in, in total. We've got just over $5,000 down on Revlon. We're $4,500 down on, on AeroClean, which I should never have traded. Uh, we've got uh, $2,500 down on Seed. Uh, we've got green trades on uh, ADN, on Black Sky, Redbox, and Seed at this stage. I came back a little bit later. I bet now I was so late and did whatever it is I normally do. And uh, we traded um, ADN. And that went against us. <laughs> so we lost about $2,000 on ADN. And uh, so we were 700, um, 700 up. We finished 1,700 down on, on ADN. So that's not great trading. Uh, kind of digging the hole a little bit deeper. Uh, and then just after lunchtime market time, uh, Revlon decides to give us a little bit of um, a, a little bit of hope, shall we say? So, in my Discord, a couple of the people in the Discord calling out there's a double bottom, W formation. I was I, I wasn't even paying attention because I was I was not at my desk at that stage. Then we get the consolidation, retest the VWAP. So a lot of this is very bullish. Looking at this, um, uh, look, looking at all this, it did move up. It broke that uh, that 465 resistance just briefly before pulling back, kind of the 440 range again. Now I'm back at my desk now because, as I say, I'm checking my mobile and people are talking in the Discord and what's setting up. And uh, this is where we entered uh, and, and we got our first entry. So uh, we see this move up. We get a pullback, and as it moves up, a little micro pullback, and uh, we got in for. The, the break of the three quarter dollar. That was our first entry, 475. Uh, we rolled that up and we took profits at 490, just over, just over 495. Uh, we didn't take all of it off. We're just kind of conscious of the whole dollar resistance. Uh, so we took half of our position off. And as, as it pulled back, we exited at uh, 492. So it went all the way up to, uh, to 414s. Uh, and we exited at 492 as this, this candle here decided to break new lows. But then it was consolidating. I was thinking, okay, we're, we're going to get back in and we're going to, you know, break $5 again. That's, that's fine. So as we start to consolidate, uh, we get this all pulled all the way back to 470. And then it moves up to a lovely bullish hammer there, bullish hammer candle. This candle, a little bit of a pullback before making on. And that's, we got in at oh, 490. Uh, so we're getting at 490 and we could have taken profits up here, but we didn't. And we're kind of kicking ourselves. So we're at two and a half thousand shares at this stage. We're kicking ourselves and we're just watching this consolidate. And I'm thinking, okay, well, we're in at 490. I'm just going to give it 20 cents. I want to break $5 and we'll get 30 cents on it. Maybe get 520, 525. So we're at 490. We'll, we'll get maybe 35, 30, 35 cents on this. So I've got a stop in place at 470. And it doesn't hit the stop. It starts to make its move up. 
not only do we break uh, do we break five dollars we, we move up we add to the position we get this pullback we add to the position at 430 we were looking for 430 we got it we added to the position at 430 we took some profits off at, uh, at 435 and uh, we rolled this all the way up oh so we've managed to get um, stopped out on this candle here so still watching this talking in the discord what happens we get this bottoming tail, another bullish hammer, and I'm thinking, okay, it's gonna go again. So I enter again, and we got another move up. This time, we're going with a slightly bigger size. We get in, and we ride this up. We've got the pretty much the 9 EMA and the 20 EMA converged here. We've got the that's a bullish crossover there. Uh, looking at the wrong chart, a bullish, bullish crossover here where, where the 9 and the 20 EMA converged. Uh, so that's where we entered. Uh, we took some profits as this, uh, this candle pulled back, only half of our position, and then it started to move up again. So we added to our position and we took some more profits at the top of this candle. As it pulled back, we're still in this position. We've got a good cushion on this number. So it then pulled back. We look at this, this candle, make a new high. So we add back and we take some more profits off here. And this is what we're doing. We're taking some profits. We're getting, uh, we, we, we exited it on this candle and then we re-entered uh, just before this doji so we, we got this this candle we missed this candle make a new high and we entered before it, it started to make a pullback of course we didn't exit uh well we moved all the way up we moved up as it started to pull back took some profits here and as it moved up we exited as this candle broke a new low so this stage where I think we're green on Revlon on the day, so we've made back the uh, the five thousand that that we had. We're not green on the day. Um, we're still red on the day, but we've made uh, we've made back the five thousand that we lost on on Revlon. So that that was the good uh, the, the good part. We're still you know a couple of thousand down on uh, on on the on the day at this stage. Um, I go away, have some dinner. I'm thinking green on Revlon's good. I'm talking in the chat. That's that's fine. Took, took a while, but we're finally green on Revlon. Then coming into uh, into the final hour of the market um, is when we take the rest of the, when we make the rest of the, uh, the the move. So have my dinner, come back. I'm looking for some trades at Power Hour, and the Power Hour being 3 p.m. So I was able to see this move up get on it and ride it up here take some profits whilst whilst streaming and then he started to uh he started to consolidate and i got the indicator here it's, it was actually on the two minute chart very good at exit indicator so i exited here and it flushed down I'm like okay i didn't know it was going to flush down but uh it flushed down and i exited i was i was out then we saw this um uh, this next move and we got that one as well and this is where we, we, we pretty much went green on the day as a whole uh so we, we moved up we got green on the day and we took profits up at, at the top end here we um unfortunately didn't make enough to get literally green on the day what i mean by that is we're 570 dollars trade profit green uh but we're actually in the hole to the tune of fourteen hundred dollars because of commissions, fees, and everything else. So we're actually two thousand dollars worth of transaction charges um, on the day, less the five thousand. Uh, sorry, less the five hundred dollars that uh, the trade profit that we've made puts us in the hole to about uh, fourteen hundred dollars on the day. So. 
whilst I'm not actually green profitable today, it, it is a red to green day. So I'm happy, given that we were $10,000 in the hole, uh, given that we were substantially in the red, to, to then get green on the trade uh, is, is, is a, a good result, I feel. What I would say is if I hadn't taken that trade with AeroClean, just because he had been making me money this last fortnight, we would be at least $5,000 in the red. Uh, sorry, $5,000 in the green. So that was um, unfortunate and just adds credence to stick to your trade strategy, stick to your trade plan. Because if I had done, I would never have taken that trade with Ericlin. And that's really what set, set me up for failure was, was the trade with, uh, with, with Eric Lynn today. So all well and good. You know, we started well, we finished well. Shaky moments in, in the middle, but we go again tomorrow. Uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow, 90 minutes before the market opens. So that's one o'clock uh, for London and, uh, and Dublin time. That's 8 a.m. market time or, or East Coast. So, you know, come join me. Let's see how we do tomorrow. Hopefully it's going to be a profitable day. We're doing really, really well at the moment this, um, this month. Uh, I've got to say that as far as the profitability on the month is, is going, uh, we're having a really, really good, um, good month. Let me just have a look at my trading uh, trade view reports. I'll pull this across. You can uh, you you'll be able to see this. So if I look at these trade view reports, you can take a look at this, and uh, so I'll just condense this down so we can see what what's going on. So right now we've got a. a Total gain of 158,000. That doesn't include transaction fees uh, and the likes. Uh, we started uh, the, the month off with like $30,000. So we're currently over 120,000, um, 158,000 in profit. So we're about 120, 130,000 uh, on uh, net profits. Just Bear with me one moment whilst I take a quick look. Um, yeah, so we're 129,000 before today. So about 128,000 in profit on the day, on, on the month. So we're, we're not in a bad place. We're, in fact, if, if anything, we're in, a, we're in a very good place. We've, um, this is our, our second most profitable month ever. Uh, we do have the potential to have our most profitable month ever. And uh, in order to do that, we need to make it about another $20,000. So if we can do that in the next week, it means that June will be my best month um, since I started trading. So we're doing well. It's I can't really complain about uh, about not going green uh, because of transaction fees today when I look back at the month and, and we're over 120,000 net profit green so I can afford you know I could afford $1,400 in, in transaction charges today so um yeah if you want to uh, if you want to learn how to uh, how to trade like me you know check out the link in the description and uh, be happy to teach you in the meantime Join me tomorrow for some more trading. See you then.